the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap for praise.
whatever that we are God. So we are going through Lord Jesus. To speak to us, God, to tell us things that we don't know, Lord Jesus. To answer us, God, when we have questions on us. And to fill us, God, with your love and your joy. And to give us through us power, God, that we can go out and face things that we thought we could.
was able to sustain that. And, and uh, even though they said we, we don't know what it was, whatever it was, it's gone. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Carry that pain. 
those things are healthy. We know that. We're working towards dealing with that being I hope most of us are. But there's something I found very interesting about that is that many of those same effects can be caused by carrying around too much external weight internally. Amen. Too much external weight inside. Come on, what is your soul being like? Amen. Yeah. What is your soul being like? So when you come put a soul right above your head, that was not your physical body mass index, but what is your soul mass index? Wow. How much excess weight are you carrying on the inside? Carrying around in your daily life. People can't see it, but you feel it. You know it's there. Because it's there, come on, you have less energy to do things. Because you're carrying all this excess weight. You don't sleep at night because you have all of this weight that you're carrying on your mind and in your soul and in your emotions. Come on, somebody. Come on. Praise the Lord. Pain that nobody else sees. Sometimes it's emotional weight that we're carrying. We're carrying around the weight of anxiety or, or guilt over something that we've done. Shame over something that we've done. Fear over something that might happen in the future. Second guessing ourselves for situations. We carry around the burden of financial responsibilities. Enough said. <laughs> right? The burden of responsibilities at home with our families, trying to care for all the needs of our family and make sure the home is running right. Things on the job the boss puts on you. Amen. You carry the weight home with you when you go home. And certainly we carry in terms of the spiritual burden. Sometimes the spiritual burden of feeling like we're never acceptable before God. Jesus. Carrying around the spiritual burden of sin where we have failed God and disobeyed Him and it's not being dealt with. Where God is not happy with us. Where there's a sense of distance between us and God. And nobody can see it, but on the inside, your soul mass index is going up. Carrying all that weight, robbing you of your rest, robbing you of your energy and your zeal for God, robbing you of your of, of, of just the comfort in, in serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. We don't want to carry all that weight. I started showing the picture of this morning, but how many of you ever heard of, of half floor borgency? Anybody heard of him? Amen. Probably not. Half floor borgency. He's an Icelander. He's an Icelander. And he's the one who holds the record for the heaviest deadlift. Come on, no pulleys. Come on, no, no momentum, no running stars. Either. The deadlift. Wow. Oh, uh, half floor. He was able to deadlift just on May 2nd, 2020, uh, 2020, right on our anniversary. He deadlifted 501 kilograms. Now, we're here in America, so that might not be too impressive to most of us. Okay. 501 kilograms. Let me translate. Yes. This brother grabbed the bar and then lifted 1,105 pounds wow. by himself. Wow. Come on, have you ever seen a picture of the bar is bending while he grabbed that bar? Wow. That is how much weight he can carry. Now, I don't know about you, that, that's a lot of weight. He holds the record for the most weight lifted. But I just want to remind you that he is not the all-time greatest weight lifter. Uh -huh. There's another weight lifter who carries oh, much more than 1,105 pounds. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He carries the weight of our sin. Yeah. He carries the weight of our distress, yeah. our despair, our depression, yeah. the weight of our anxiety, the yeah. weight of our fear, the weight of all those things that are raising the weight of your soul that's in He's already carrying that way. His name is Jesus. Amen. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Yeah. Come on. He is the ultimate weight lifter. Oh, Amen. Yeah. And he can carry the weight that has you weighed down this morning. Yeah. Oh, yes, he can. Yeah. Yeah. Turn with me to 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 5, a well known verse of scripture. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse number 5. Say amen once you find it. 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 5. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we there, family? Amen. 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 The Word of God says, in the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. 
All of you clothe yourselves with humility toward one another because God opposes the proud, but he shows favor or he shows grace to the humble. Amen. Verse 6, humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand yes. that he may lift you up. Amen. Yes. Come on. <laughs> that he may lift you up in due time. Oh, 
Amen. Amen. They used to say, just keep on living. Amen. Amen. Keep on living. Amen. Amen. Keep on living. And sooner or later, there's going to be a weight that you are placed in your hands that you don't have the strength to carry. And when that happens, you've got to decide how you're going to respond. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we respond in anger. We get mad about the burden that we're carrying. Yes. Come on. We get mad at God for giving us this way to carry. Yes. Or so we think. Mm -hmm. And God said, no, no, no. Quit humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Sometimes those burdens that we're carrying, he's giving those things or allowing those things to, so that we recognize our need for him. Amen. Sometimes that's the case. And so pride can cause us to be angry mm -hmm. instead of humble. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 16 and verse 18 said, Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit comes before a fall. Amen. Part of our response to the weights we cannot carry can has to include a humility to understand it's bigger than us. Yeah. Yes. We have to understand that. Yeah. We've heard the, the story about a, a young father who took his young son to the park and wanted to play with him and give him some time to enjoy himself. And so they went to the park and the young boy quickly found the sandbox to go play in. And looking back at his dad, he jumped in the sandbox and started running his hands through the, through the sand and, and making all kinds of whole heels out of, the, out of the, the sand. And dad wasn't saying get out of the dirt or anything like that, so he was allowed to keep on playing in the sand. And as he was doing that, he got a little bit frustrated because there was a big rock in the middle of his sandbox. And so in spite, in spite of being uh, mesmerized by all the, the textures and, the, and the, the feel of the sand and being able to do all that, this rock was in the way. And so he tried to move the rock, but he could not move the rock. It was too heavy. It was too big for him. And so after a little while, as Tom was prone to do, he got frustrated and started to throw a tantrum. And he went to his dad and he said, I can't. He said, this rock is in the way. This rock is in the way. And his dad said, why didn't you use all the strength available to you to move it? Confused little boy said, I did, Daddy, but it's too big. It's too heavy. And the father turned back to him and he said, no, you didn't. You didn't come to me and ask me for help. Amen. You tried to move it on your own. And with that, the father got up off the bench, picked up the rock with one hand, and moved it out of the sandbox. I wonder how many of us right now are frustrated because we're, we have some weight, some burden that we're carrying around in our daily life and we're trying to move it on our own. Jesus. We're trying to reason with it. Right. We're trying to let our education and our know-how yes. deal with that. Yes. And it's still there. It's still a burden. It's still in the way. Amen. Yes. All along, my heavenly father sitting on the bench, he said, come on now. I'm waiting for you to come to me and stop trying to do it in your own strength so that I can make my strength available to you. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I believe the text said, His mighty hand. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His mighty hand. Come on, that God poses the proud, but He gives grace to those that are humble. Grace is His enabling power, His enabling help. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. If we want to, you can carry your own burdens. Yeah. But there's another way that we can respond. The second response, you can cast your burdens. Amen. Amen. Cast. You can cast yes. your burdens that way. Amen. Look at verse number seven. Verse number seven says, cast all, so I say all. all. Cast all your anxiety, all your worries, yes. all that is weighing you down. Cast all of that on him because he cares for you. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That word cast there is very interesting. It is an imperative. That means it's a command. Uh -huh. We learned about that on Wednesday nights. It's a command. It's not a suggestion. Yeah. But he's telling us when you face those weights and those burdens that are too heavy for you, you are commanded to cast them on him. Yeah. Amen. Don't carry that on your own. Yes. Don't push that rock by yourself. Right. Cast it on him. Not only is it an imperative, but it's a participle. That doesn't say you can put the word I and G on the end. Right. Casting your cares on him. Grace. Amen. Yes. Casting. Yes. Amen. 
Yes, Lord. The picture there would be of someone who takes uh, a load and they continue to set it on the back of a mule. Hmm. Come on, they just keep on putting the load on the back of that mule. Not one time, but until all the load is transferred from here to there. Amen. A transfer of responsibility. Can I tell you that whatever you're carrying this morning, God is inviting you and he's inviting me to transfer the responsibility of that. Transfer the load of that. Casting all your cares. Listen, that means even the little ones. Amen. Even the small things that you think are not that big a deal. Listen, it's good practice to bring those things to God. And God, I need your help with this. Amen. I think I'm right to figure it out, but I just want to make it clear. I'm depending on you. I'm holding myself before you. I need your grace. Give me in this. And so I'm going to practice by casting this care upon you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because it's not always the big, heavy things. Sometimes it's the small things. Yes. 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 It's those small burdens. It's those yes. small things that we get used to carrying. Amen. Yes. That get in the way of our relationship with God. That get in the way yes. of us being all that we feel that God has called us to be. Amen. Amen. It's the small things. Why is it the small things? Because even if it's small, if you hold it long enough, it gets heavy. Amen. Yes. Come on. If you hold it long yes. enough, it gets heavy. Yes. Amen. That's right. Right. And the devil is patient. Yes, he is. He's patient. Yeah. He doesn't have to destroy our strength in one fell swoop by putting some heavy bird, heavy temptation, or heavy trial. He can just give you something small, and if you won't bring it to God, he just lets you hold that. Amen. Yeah. He just let it take its toll, wearing you down. Amen. Yeah. In the absence of God's grace, yeah. it'll wear you down. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We have to take even the small things. To him. Amen. I think that we have to first recognize that there's something there that I need help with. Amen. Yeah. Recognize the burden. Yes. Come on, bring, bring those flags to him. Come on, bring that relationship to him. Bring that past event to him. Amen. Amen. Come on, bring that, that battle of your mind to him. Amen. Amen. We have to first recognize that it's there and bring it to him. Amen. Secondly, I would recommend that we verbalize it. Don't just recognize it, but verbalize it. So what do I mean by that? I mean, pour it out. Pour that burden out. Get honest with God about it. Amen. Yeah. Say, Lord, this right here, I need help with. This yeah. is burdening me. This is destroying me. The enemy is using this. And I'm going to pour it out on you. I can't do anything about it. I need you to intervene. Pour it out. Amen. Get yeah. honest with God. Amen. Yeah. Let him hear about it. Amen. Tell them that you're feeling resentful. Amen. Yeah. Come on, tell them that bitterness is rising up. Amen. Yeah. Tell them I'm sick and tired of dealing with that. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of dealing with them. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of being reminded of that. Amen. Come on, tell them I'm tired of this. Amen. Pour it out. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Amen. I hear the psalmist saying, How long, oh Lord? Yes. How long? Anybody here say, How long? How long? How long? Is this going to last? Amen. Listen, God is not intimidated by our how long. We need to verbalize that. Yeah. Come on, sometimes that's the longest part of my prayer is the how long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Verbalizing it, pouring that out. Come on, letting that venom come out from our soul and be poured out upon the hands of God. Because he can handle it. Amen. Amen. He can handle it. Amen. Amen. He already knows about it, but it does us good, amen, to get it out and give it to him. Amen. Yes. Pour it out. Pour it out. Once you pour it out, we can place it on him. Give it to him. Amen. Say, God, you know I can't do anything about this. I've tried. I'm still struggling. I'm still looking for the answer. Lord, I'm going to place it on you because I know that you can do something about it. Amen. That's when we begin to turn the corner. Yeah. Lord, I cannot deal with this, but I know that you can. Amen. Yeah. I'm not able to overcome this, but I know that you already have. Amen. I cannot think about it differently, but I know you do. So help me. Lord. I don't know about you, but when it's something that's really heavy, that's not a five man prayer. Amen. That's right. Come on, you gotta, the old, old times just to give us to have the first yeah. praying through. Amen. Praying through. Terry, yeah. Come on. A thing happened after I was in, I went to the church. Grab hold of the horns of the altar. Amen. Yes. Come on, grab hold of the grab hold of the horns of the altar. Amen. Yeah. I didn't know what that meant back then, but I just knew it meant something. I need to 
get a hold of God and stay there. Amen. That's how you live. Amen. Yeah. And we need to learn that, church. You know, we, we don't need people just to say a prayer. We need to grab hold of the horns of the altar. Amen. Amen. And stay there until God does a change in our minds, a change in our attitude, in our heart, in yes. our desires. Amen. Amen. Place it on Him. Amen. Amen. And then once I give it to Him, I start to praise Him for it. Hallelujah. Praise Him for taking it. Come, that's a good, that's a good practice. That's a good habit for us. To let God have it. I mean, when I say let Him have it, I mean to pour it out. Tell Him everything that is worth it. Surrender. Tell Him how you feel about it. Surrender. Yeah. Amen. Are you not much more 
valuable than they. So do not worry saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need it. Listen, they don't have a heavenly father. You do. You have a heavenly father who cares. You have a heavenly father who knows. You have a heavenly father who provides his grace for the needs of your life. Not just the outward physical things that are internal, things that other people can't see. Our Heavenly Father knows our need and He's committed to meeting those needs in our life. We can be confident in that. So this is what I just wonder, whatever burdens, whatever weight you're carrying this morning, I wonder if you come to a place where you cast that upon Him. Yes. Where you give it to Him. Well, I've done that once and I'm still feeling some kind of way about it. Well, do it again. Amen. 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 Keep doing that. Amen. Amen. Because our God, He is a weight lifter. He's a man who bear with him. Amen. Amen. That's who He is. Thank you, Lord. He's promised. Thank you. As we humble ourselves, He'll give us grace. Give me Lord. He's promised that. Thank you, Lord. We humble ourselves, He will lift us up. Yes, Jesus. Some of us just need to be lifted up. Yes, Lord. We need His grace. Amen. Amen. Well, we just come to you this morning. Yes, you recognize, God, there are things, Lord, that we carry, Lord, that nobody but you and I see. Yes. Nobody, God, but, but you really understand. Yes, Lord. And in those areas, God, I thank you, Lord, that we can humble ourselves, bring them to you. Thank you, Lord. With the knowledge that you care. Come before you throne. You're not indifferent. You're not burdening us to struggle our own. all our cares and anxieties. God, you want Lord. us to experience the power of your grace, lifting us up, Lord, God. Lord, from underneath the weight of the things Lord, that burden us. Lord, God, we want to experience your grace tonight that changes us, that helps us, Lord, that keeps us, Lord, so that we're not crushed by the weight. So I just pray that you help us to take those steps. Help yes, us, Lord, Lord not be full of pride, not try to carry it on our own, but to give these things to you. Yes, you are carrying it. Oh yes, God, Lord. search our hearts, search our hearts, yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This morning, I'm just going to ask. Thank you, Lord. If we can stand this morning, we can stand. I want to give an opportunity for us to cast those tears on the Lord and ask to come and come. And that, that, that final song will be saved. I'm going to ask her to lead us in that song. And as she sings, I just want to open up this altar and give opportunity for every one of us. It doesn't matter how big, how small the weight that you're carrying is. If you want to cast that on the Lord, would you just come down to this altar area and give that to him? Come on, I know you can do it at your seat. I do believe there's something significant about taking a physical step and right. saying, I'm leaving behind my current state and I'm bringing it to him to leave it here at the altar. Would you do that? Jesus' name, lift it from our bodies. 
One of my brothers and sisters here this morning. God, we thank you, Lord, that you have met us here. Yes, Lord. God, that your word, oh God, is our strength. Lord, your spirit, God, enables us, Lord, to lay hold upon you, Lord, to hold upon what you've made available to us. Yes, Lord, Lord, I pray that we would walk in the power of your grace, Lord God, in this upcoming week, God, that we would live, Lord, not under the weight of our burdens, God, but in the strength of your grace. That yes. every moment, God, that those things come to our minds and those situations are faced anew. God, let us cry out to you and say, Lord, I need your grace. I need your help. Well, right now, oh, God, we would send the flood of your help. And your grace in the moments when we need you most. Oh, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come give a warm hand of praise. Amen. Amen. Just seek your um, <laughs> help. 
Yes. Volunteers. Um, so training for that will be on July 15th. If you register, here's a flyer online. It is um, posted on the post report in the lower fellowship hall. Um, and also through to CTAR uh, for more information and registration um, if you want more details. Um, we also have the Women's Fall Retreat coming up. Um, we're still registering for that. So if you would like to attend, you can see um, uh, Sister Romy or Sister Melissa when she returns uh, for more information. That is September 29th to October 1st uh, for the Women's Retreat. Um, also encouraging, encouraging, encouraging everybody, please come to Wednesday night Bible studies. It is so exciting. It is uh, Holy Spirit filled. God does amazing things. You get a lot of education and training, prayer, encouragement in the middle of the week on hump day on Wednesday, you know, just trying to make it to the end of the week. So just come and get blessed and taught and filled yes. um, with a lot of education and learning by the Holy Spirit. We're yes. a whole series by the Holy Spirit. So please come. We would love for you to come and receive what the Lord has for you at that. Also, um, just want to make emphasis on first and third for our youth uh, ministry upstairs uh, um, in the upper fellowship hall. We want to encourage all the youth to come. Um, for church and for youth um, ministry or in Genesis, first and second chapters, we need you to study and um, come and participate. We call them all the youth. We are excited. We also have children's church every Sunday for the, uh, the younger children. So please come, bring your children, bring your whole family so that God can fill you and bless you and um, you receive from him. Amen. Thank you.
pray with them. And so we want to be a part of that. But there is a place for everybody in the circle. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of stuff that is needed. This is going to be a great outreach. It's uh, going to be right around one of our sister churches, a South Bay Celebration. Uh, I think it's Center, is it they call it? South Bay Celebration Center Church? Yes. Um, and it's right there on Prairie and El Segundo, that, that little area right there. And so we want to be a part of people coming to know Jesus and, and, and reaching out to that neighborhood because, listen, that's going to be good practice for us. Yeah. Amen. 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 I said that's good practice for us. Amen. Amen. We cannot sit in these pews Sunday after Sunday and not reach out to the neighborhood. Amen. Oh, amen, right, boy. Amen, amen. right, boy. Practice, amen. Because the next seat can say it won't be great. The silly seat can say, Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Who's he talking to? He's talking to Yes, I'm talking to you. Amen. Listen, the training is going to be on July the 15th. Um, so you can gain some skills, some help in how to reach out to your, our neighbors and interact with people about Jesus and, and just to get equipped so that we can go out and be what we be called to be as a church. Yes. Tyra is very much involved in that. Yes. You have a comment on that? Tyra? Yes, and um, it's very important if you want to volunteer to go on and get registered because with the SOCAP, we have to, you're going to minister and, and speak with people, and you have to go through the volunteer, which also does a site, um, um, AOR, um, just to make sure the risk of everything, and that has to go through the SOCAP district. And so you need to get all those names on there so we can get it to them so they can approve everything. Yes, okay, okay, in order to, to actually work on that day. So it, now please get with me afterwards and I can show you exactly where to go so you can do that and have that signed up. Do you know what time the training is? The training on that, when, on that Saturday, I think it's at either 9 or 10. I, I think I posted it on Realm, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I think it should be on Realm. If not, I'll go back and make sure we get the, the details of that on Realm. Um, Realm is the church's... Uh, social media platform. Yes. If you're not signed up, please see me. They show me at your room so we can all communicate together. Amen. 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 Um, we ask for the training and, and Sam to, to please move forward. We'll see my morning's time to offer this morning. Amen.
from them. And uh, Lord, that we would just be lights for you. God, that your grace will be evident in our lives, Lord, as we give you our burdens, Lord, and, and we come in contact with others, God, that are weighed down by the cares of this, of this life, that we will be able to point them to you. And so we just thank you for it all, in Jesus' name. And we said, Amen. 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 Amen.